I'll just, I'll just. G'day guys and welcome to Raging Rhino. Alright, it is time for episode 5 of Obi-Wan Kenobi, the second last episode of the series. Now, of course, there's been a lot of talk out there about how bad this series is and how much damage it's been doing. Now, I just want to put this out there before we do get started. One thing that I think, or a couple of things that I think that they're actually going to do, the Grand Inquisitor is going to be in a back to tank. He's going to be okay to keep the continuity with Rebels. They're obviously going to be fighting again and... Uh, what I'm talking about is Obi-Wan and Vader are going to be fighting again. And of course, I have a feeling that there's going to be some line in there where Obi-Wan says, you know, you're still learning, you're still a young one or something along those lines to bring credence to the when I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. So they're going to try now in these last two episodes to tie it together with episode four or actual Star Wars. So... Without further ado, let's get into this episode. It is a 43 minute episode, so it's probably about 38 minutes, maybe even a bit less than that of actual episode. So let's get straight into this and uh, you'll see my reactions, get my thoughts at the end as per usual. All right, let's do this. Fuck. I need your help. All of these scenes are so fucking stupid. This entire recap has just shown us how bad this fucking show is. I mean, that whole episode was fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, poor Wade. Justice for Wade? It's so stupid. That entire recap, again, just showed us how fucking stupid this show is. Are we back on Tatooine? Luke's gonna leave and save Obi-Wan. Shush. Not right now. <laughs> he looks too old! <laughs> Set a course, Captain. We leave for Jabim at once. Oh my lord. Hey, I could be wrong about the Grand Inquisitor. They could retcon it after all. Why are we not taking Leia home? Look at all these people. They're all going to see Obi-Wan. We got her. What do they know? What What is going on? I don't understand. Why, why are they all relieved that they've got her? Lady Inquisitor. That should have killed you. I know what it feels like being a real Jedi. What? This is good. We get all these people out of here, I'll do whatever you want. Why? I like how the eye goes red when it's like got a thing in it as opposed to it just being blue. But now it's a spy droid as well. It actually spies. It does, doesn't just have a tracker. It's been actually like turned to work for the Empire. Wow. But just lightsabers sitting around. Really? Oh, this just, it seems to just get stupider and stupider. Dumb and dumber at its finest. Oh my god! It was, didn't just have a tracker on it. Don't grow too aggressive, Anakin. Be mindful. Why has he got the lightsaber backwards? Life, not take it. Oh, such a Disney fucking stupidity. Even that is lame, that sparring session. You heard him. Oh, but they won't be stopped by the Star Destroyer? They haven't set up a blockade? Is that because they only bought one Star Destroyer? And Obi-Wan knows that? Oh, Rocky montage time. Even Rocky had a montage. Gee, those shuttles are taking a long time to get down there. Set up their entire barricade. Quick, we're gonna rush through this! Wow. Is it Vader or is it Reva? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Look at this plan they came up with. They're just standing around, people walking around. I'm going to need a ladder. Oh my god. It's not playtime right now, princess. Do as she asks. What? Oh, my Get brain her. hurts. Quick. She's going to have a fight with her own droid. You keep your eye on her. I am not a babysitter, Ben. Yes, this is Babysitters in Space. You are a babysitter. How does she know what she's even looking at? Use the Force Layer. Oh my god. If he's found you, if he's learned of the children, what? I pray you're safe. Oh my god, I don't even know about the boy. They lied. Hang on a second. Have they stopped attacking? 
Has the Empire, like, stopped attacking this base so that these guys can have this conversation? Is that what- is that what's actually going on right now? What the fuck, Disney writers? Lucasfilm, what the fuck is this? Are we supposed to give a fuck? For everyone I get in the room. Oh my... The pacing is just fucking out of control. Of course you're in trouble, you're under attack! And then we're just back under attack again. Oh my god, just say what you need to say out loud to the audience. It doesn't make any more sense when you say it out loud either. Oh, she can't act for shit. Now, they welded this door shut. We're gonna have a conversation through the door, using the force. What am I watching? Can we see any more of that? Like how she actually survived that? But you were right there. And what? Oh, Vader didn't feel that there was somebody still alive in amongst those cold bodies? Where were you? He was your paddle. What do you mean? This is so stupid! You... They killed Obi-Wan's family! This whole conversation, this entire episode so far has been retarded as fuck! <laughs> Is that really how that works? Gee, she got through that door real quick and easy. Remember how long it took to get through the blast doors? Are we gonna see any of the Rebellion guys die? Surely. Oh, shaky cam all over the place. I can't even concentrate on anything that's going on. Are they just walking and just keep walking into this room? It seems a never ending room. Of course she knew what he said. Thank you, one of them. And the droid. What? They're advancing. Oh, this is just stupid. Good. Fucking die. Tell me they're not shooting her on the ground. Finish her off. Told you the droid would get done. Kill her. Oh, is she gonna hit the button? Oh, she's gonna blow herself up. Fucking stupid. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking stupid! <laughs> they just did the same choreography. And it doesn't make it good. What? He would not give his lightsaber to somebody else. Ever. Oh, the evil droid. So what, after the explosion they just waited out there? They didn't go back in? What is she doing? He's on his way. Inform Lord Vader. He Kenobi is ours. If you're giving orders, Do inform not. Lord Vader, Kenobi, we have Kenobi. Charles, not right now. I mean, come on, dude. I'm watching the destruction of Star Wars before my very eyes. What? Why are they- what? What? Why are they taking back inside there? I don't get it. I'd love to know when that sparring session takes place. He's still a Padawan, obviously. What, what do you think was going to happen? It's so stupid, man. She's gonna have a fight with her droid. Wow. Leia, just incredible. Incredible. Why don't you just get the fucking droid to reverse what it did? Move, move, let's go. That's not good. All this is gonna do is make Vader know that Bale is a traitor. Bullshit! Ah, oh, this makes me so fucking angry. He still looks too old. More screaming. Wow.
Why wouldn't he use his own lightsaber? Why would he have to break hers in half? Wow, this is shit. Bounce again. If he doesn't kill her. Oh, so he actually stabbed her as a child. There's the Grand Inquisitor. They retconned their own fucking stabbing. And we don't even see it. Hello, it's all off screen. She's not gonna die. No one's ever really gone for both of them. Who's gonna save her? Who is it? She's stronger than Qui-Gon Jinn. So how do you explain this stabbing if she doesn't have two stomachs? Oh, she's gonna get the com to bail. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you had it just gone straight to Alderaan, none of this would have happened. End of episode. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. This episode... <clears throat> was just, again, a whole heap of conveniences, contrivances, things happening just because the, it's needing to happen that way. Things not making sense to just an ordinary person. The, I, I'm just so lost with how much in this episode coming off the last episode. I mean, the fact that Vader just, again, just gets cucked by Obi-Wan... The, everything that happens with the Grand Inquisitor there at the end. He just shows back up after being stabbed. Yeah, his second stomach isn't working right. Right, Star Wars theory? But, like, how do you now explain it with fucking Reva being stabbed that same way? By Vader. No one's ever really gone. She's still there lying on the ground listening to communication, getting information. The pacing of this episode was ridiculous. It jumps, like... We're moving so quick at the beginning and then it slows right down while the battle's going on just so that we can have this exposition that is just pointless. I don't, like, what, was that super, was the story that Tila, Tala, fucking whatever her name is, gave to Obi-Wan just in that split second before she dies, was that enough to get your all your emotions going, everyone? Was that enough to make you cry the way I cried? Because that was the only attachment that you had to that character. And it meant nothing. The stormtroopers are walking in for like... It's kind of like how the, the speeders in the last episode looked like they were just running straight into that wall. These stormtroopers seem to get pushed back. Like every cut, they, they're getting pushed back to the entrance. The entrance of the door. It, I just... I can't with this. Leia can do absolutely everything. She gets in the vent so that she's just like, give me a ladder. I'm going to do it. Because I know what I'm looking at. I mean, I couldn't say that. She's a princess from Alderaan. And when she gets up there, her little spy droid that fucking didn't just have a tracker on it, actually made it do things to fuck the rebellion up. I, like, again, talk about the conveniences for plot. She just grabs the droid after it's attacking her a little bit and she pulls the thing off and, oh yeah, we're going from red to blue again, all good. So basically, in a nutshell, they went to this planet because Rokon fucking said that, uh, to Obi-Wan that because we helped you, it stopped us from getting all of these people out. They used one ship, they had two ships there. 
and everybody was able to fit on one ship because they all fit on that one ship after fucking Vader took down that first ship which is fucking stupid within itself because are you telling me that Vader's not sensing that there's no one on board that ship? Who was on board that ship? It took off. Did they just expect Vader to be there and stop them? Was that their plan? Did they launch it remotely or was there a pilot on that ship that they just sacrificed? I just, I cannot believe how bad this episode is. I just can't believe it. I mean, I thought that we, it's getting worse. And like episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four, it constantly getting worse. The writing's getting worse. There wasn't so much editing problems in this, but there is when it comes to like, again, the base is under attack and all of a sudden there's no booms anymore. They've stopped their attack so that Taylor can have a little conversation with Obi-Wan. And then as soon as they stop their, Obi uh, their, their conversation, fucking Roken comes up to Obi-Wan and her and says, we're in trouble. And boom, 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 we're back under attack again. I, I just don't know how anyone with half a fucking brain can sit here and watch this and think that it's any fucking good. I just don't know. And this is Star Wars we're talking about. This is supposed to be like a top-notch fucking story. And now Reva, all of a sudden Reva knows about Luke. Well, we might still get the ending from the leaks in the end. Because again, in Disney Star Wars, no one's ever really gone. Unless you're Teela because you've given your exposition and your whole story in fucking two seconds. So that now I can kill myself. Because the audience will feel something. Oh my god, it's such a fucking joke. It's such a joke. Disney has to be trolling the fans of Star Wars. They have to be. And for the uh, the writer to come out and say that, oh no, we're not doing, we're not destroying any canon. I mean, the last episode was proof enough of how much canon destroying they're doing, how much continuity destroying they're doing. This episode is just contrived filler garbage, and I can't believe. We're getting filler episodes like this and a fucking filler stories and all of this other bullshit in a six season, a six episode season of nothing. The result of this, if you take it from uh, episode one and Reva's plan at the beginning of episode one, now it's about fucking finding the rebellion. Now it's about back to finding Obi-Wan and now Reva's just come along the device that links her to Luke. If Obi-Wan had have just said, Bail, your responsibility was the girl, my responsibility was the boy, take some fucking responsibility and do what you gotta do to get her back. I'm not leaving. If that had have happened, none of this show would be able to take place. If what should have happened in the in Disney Star Wars, sorry, if what should have happened in George's Star Wars is what was happening right now. None of this would be happening. Obi-Wan would have never have left uh, Tatooine. And I, I just... I, and they've made Vader such a fucking cuck. And what can I say about the simulated fight, the, the sparring session that I, that I said, that I predicted before, well before we got the fucking thing that we're probably going to get some sparring session between them. The choreography of that, what they just copy from that fucking shit fight from the last episode. Or not the last episode, the episode before. I can't even remember. It's all rolling into one big hunk of garbage. First of all, Hayden looked way too old. Despite whatever de-aging they did. He's acting like he's already Vader. In it. Taking swings that are shocking Obi-Wan. That if I hadn't have ducked there, you would have sliced me in half. And then we get the nice bang, 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 bang that he did in that previous fight. This is the extent of it. This back-to-back -back fucking bullshit. Oh, uh, my God. My God. I thought after my last review, I might try and sit here at the end of one of these and try and give you a bit of the... 
like obviously you've sort of seen what's happened. You've got my reactions as we've as we've gone through. But I thought I might try and give you a cohesive reaction. I can't because the show's not even cohesive. Nothing makes sense at any time. The conversation that Obi Wan has with Reva through the door is beyond a fucking joke. What happened to Reva and her surviving being stabbed by Obi Wan? Sorry, by Anakin and Order 66 is beyond a fucking joke. No one's ever really gone, are they? There's so much shit in this episode. It's just, it blows my mind. I go, I could go around in circles. The Grand Inquisitor coming back from fucking nothing. We get to see his recovery off screen, being stabbed. His spine being fixed by Bacta or something. Oh, but it was only his second stomach. It's okay. Can you explain that for Reva as a child and now as an adult as well? I just... I just... I don't know what more I can say about this. If you're enjoying the show, fucking wow. Your brain must be set to off. It must be. Because if this wasn't Star Wars, it would be garbage. No one would be watching this. And if they did, they would have been out after maybe two episodes if they gave it a chance. After the first. What is this? Who is this for? Who is this about? What's the, what's the overall story and plot here? Was it to first get Leia and then fucking we capture Obi-Wan that way? Oh, but we'll find out about an underground rebellion. So now we'll make sure that that's the, the, the main target. But no, Obi-Wan's the most important thing. We'll make sure now he's the main target. Is Obi-Wan even on a transport with Leia back to Alderaan yet? Are we even going back to Alderaan yet? Surely not. Because the people that we have no idea who they are and where they came from are just running away from the Empire for no reason. Are they rebellion? I don't think so. Because in the episode that we get introduced to Ice Cube's fucking son, he's like not a part of that fight. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. Nothing equates. You want to talk about consistency and canon and lore from fucking uh, the, the trilogies? The two trilogies that we have that this sits in between? This can't even keep up with the previous episodes in its own fucking show. It doesn't even know what it wants to be. And things have to happen, just to happen, so quick, so fast. And then they slow down, because you need to feel for this person. You need to feel for this person. Alright, let's speed it back up again. Oh, let's slow it down, because that person that made you need to feel for that person is about to die. For the greater cause. Boom! Let's speed it back up again. Wow. All I can say is wow. Lucasfilm, you've gone and fucking trumped yourself. Fucking all these fans out there thought that the, the, the Last Jedi was bad. Yeah, The Last Jedi was bad. It told, it, it, it told a story. It was a shit fucking story. It still told a story. This can't even tell a story within one episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am shocked that this is what we're getting out of multi-billion dollar Lucasfilm. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week for the death and absolute complete destruction of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, and the entire Star Wars galaxy in the final episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Later, guys.